Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. I welcome again to our geography class. We are going to look at um, weather and climate. Weather and climate. This is uh, very simple because um, when we are talking about weather and climate, we are talking about uh, things that we experience on a daily basis. Now, who can tell us what is weather? Who can give us a brief definition of what weather is all about? Well, <coughs> weather can be defined as the average condition the average condition of the lower atmosphere within a short period of time. The average condition of the lower atmosphere within a short period of time. Or it can be defined as the, you know, taking into cognizance of the element of weather like temperature like pressure like cloud like rainfall taking their record within a short period of time or in other in other words you can define weather as a change in the atmosphere noticeable within a short period of time it can be a day, it can be two, it can be a week, it can even be a month. We are talking about weather. But when you are talking about climate, here you are talking about the record of weather element taken into consideration for a long period of time, averagely between 30 to 35 years between 30 to 35 years. So when we talk about weather, weather is a daily affair. But climate take a long period of time. You can discover that the weather of today, maybe in the morning can be wet, but towards afternoon, the weather can change. But you cannot say that of climate. So know the difference between weather and also climate. Anytime you see these topics, they go hand in hand because they almost pursue, they are studying the same thing. That is the element of weather, of temperature, of uh, weather and also climate. They are the same. When we talk about temperature, we talk about atmospheric air pressure, we talk about cloud, we talk about relative humidity, we talk about rainfall, we talk about sunshine. All these are the element of weather and also the element of climate. But what happened under weather is that you take cognizance of this. There are changes on a daily basis. And that of climate, when you keep on recording this within a period of 30 to 35 years, as the case may be, you can now come out with the climate of a place. But weather is uh, from day to day, week to week, as the case may be. Let's look at the element of weather and climate. Number one, we have temperature. Temperature is the degree of hotness and coldness in a day. And the instrument used in measuring temperature is called thermometer is called thermometer then we have atmospheric air pressure this one is the exertion of weight of water molecule taken into air as a result of condensation this weight exerted on what on the earth surface is what we call atmospheric air pressure and if the, the, instru the instrument we use in measuring 
this pressure is what we call barometer. Then we have cloud as one of the elements of weather and climate. We have relative humidity. That is the dampness of the atmosphere and the, the instrument we use in measuring relative humidity is hygrometer. Then we have rainfall. Rainfall is a water droplet from the lower atmosphere and the instrument we use in measuring rainfall is what we call rain gauge. We also have wind. Wind is air in motion. It has direction and it has speed. The direction of the wind is measured by what? Wind vane. While the speed is measured by cup and thermometer. So, the direction of the wind is measured by wind vane. <coughs> Now here, here we see the instrument, the diagram of wind vane. This wind vane has an arrow, and this arrow is not static. That shows that whenever the wind blows to any direction, you see the four cardinal points, the north, the east, the south, and the west. So it will tell you the direction of the wind. Then here we have we have um, what we call the barometer, the mercury barometer. What is the instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure? Is barometer. This is how the diagrams look like. This is atmospheric pressure. This is gas tube. This is um, column mercury, and this is mercury. So with this, it will help you to measure. This tube is calibrated. It's calibrated, as you can see. So these are the instruments. Now, we have another instrument here. This one is also instrument for measuring atmospheric air pressure. This is what we call hygrometer. This is wet bulb, wet bulb hygrometer, and this one is dry bulb hygrometer. So you can see the pipe connected into, you know, a, a cup here to, to collect the, the, the water droplets for measuring. So we call this one the dry bulb uh, um, barometer, and we call this one the wet bulb um, barometer. Here we have what we call cup anemometer. We say that wind has both direction and speed. The wind vane we saw just now is for the measurement of direction. But this is cup anemometer is used for measurement of what? Wind speed. So from this you can see that all these instruments are used. Number one, we have thermometer. We have this is what we call thermometer. Now we have the two joined together to form what we call U shape. We have these two joined together to form what we call U-shape. So this thermometer is used for measuring what? It's used for measuring um, uh, temperature. Now, these instruments are kept in a station. We call it meteorological station. Meteorological station. So, for instance, if you go to NIMET, that is Nigeria Meteorological Station, in every airport, including Mutala Mohammed Airport in Lagos, that of Namdi Azikwe Airport in Abuja, and Aminu Kano Airport in Kano, 
and all other airports, they have this equipment because they use it to forecast weather on a daily basis. Weather on a daily basis must be forecasted and ditch out the information to those that need this. Number one, we need this to forecast the rainfall pattern. At the beginning of the year, I think, February, the NIMET came up with the rainfall pattern and gave the information, number one, to the farmers so that they can know how to plant their farming season. We need this information for the pilot that will pilot their, their plane every day before any pilot can take off. The best, the first information he needed is the information of the weather of the day. And he got this information from the NIMED or other approved authorities. So, but when we talk about the, the thermometer, the barometer, and um, hygrometer, they are kept in what we call the Stevenson screen. The Stevenson screen is a kind of a house-like structure within the meteorological station where those things are kept. So we call it the Stevenson screen. So these are the weather uh, elements and the instrument we use to measure them. How do we keep this weather element? I told us that these elements are uh, these uh, elements and their instruments. We talk about thermometer, we talk about barometer, we talk about hygrometer, rain gauge, wind vane, cup and emometer. What we, we keep them properly in meteorological station and some of them are be buried underground. Some of them are well positioned, firmed, like the wind vane, well positioned, distant from any standing trees so that it can, it can take accurate you know, record and direction of the wind very well. But aside from that, how do we keep them? How do we keep record of thermometer, barometer, rain gauge, wind vane, cup anemometer? What we normally do as an environmentalist or as a climatologist, what we normally do is that every morning we go there, we go to the meteorological station, we take the record of this, uh, the, the temperature of the morning, maybe at the end of the day, you go back, you te take the temperature of the day. The same thing barometer, the same thing rain gauge, the same thing wind vane, and the cup anemometer. By the time you continuously taking this and keeping it in a weather record book for a period of 30 to 35 years, you can now come up with the word, the climate, of a particular place. So when we are talking about weather and climate, they goes hand in hand. But that of weather is a day on a daily basis, why that of climate happened within the period of 30 to 35 years. Now, let's look at attribute. Number one, when we are talking about attribute of weather and climate, number one, we are talking about the variability. Number two, we are talking about the aerial extent. Number three, we are talking about the duration. And all this varies. We talk about the variability that is climate changes from, from place to place. The climate of Lagos can change you know, within a moment. So it, it is not static. Then the aerial extent, we are talking about the coverage. For instance, the climate of, uh, sorry, the, the weather of a particular geographical area within the same region can differ from, at times you can see in a place you are traveling, 
just within a few meters. You can come here, it will be raining, seriously. But immediately you move to you move forward to about 50 to 100 meters. The rain will stop and it will be, you know, the temperature will be so high. So that we are talking about the aerial extent. When we talk about the area extent, we are talking about the area coverage of weather is very, very short and limited. Then we talk about duration. Duration, it can be, be a week, it can be a day, it can be a month, but definitely it cannot be up to two, three, four, five years. It is only weather. So when we are talking about the attribute of weather, number one, we look at the, the variability, that is the changes. Then number two, we talk about the aerial extent, that is the area coverage. Then number three, we look at the duration. Do you know that it is very hard at times to see two places recording the same weather at the same time? It is not, it is not possible. Even within the same state, a local government can have a different weather while another local government will experience another weather within you know a period of time it can be within the same day it can be raining in one uh, local government another local government will be experiencing a high temperature and so on and so forth so we are talking about the area extent that is the coverage is very limited when we are talking about the attribute of what of weather then let's look at climate we have discussed that of weather then let's look at climate i told us that weather and climate they are almost the same only the duration that of weather is within a short period of time but climate is a very prolonged period of time between 30 to 35 years but what we learn from you know the, the 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 climate issue number one we look at the factors affecting climate of a place number one let's look at factors affecting climate factors affecting climate number one we talk about latitude Number two, we talk about um, altitude. Altitude. Number three, we talk about um, we talk about cloud cover. Number four, we talk about vegetation cover. Ten. Number five, we talk about um, slope, slope. So let's look at this as factors that affect the climate. Remember, this factor also affects weather. But we have discussed that of weather. Let's look at climate. Let's look at number one factor. This is latitude. You know, when we're discussing uh, the position of the Earth, we talk about latitude and longitude. Now, when you look at this, that is why I was telling us that at the beginning of this, if you miss the introduction of uh, this subject, it will be very hard for you to understand. Now, we are going back again to our first topic. We, talk, we say this one is equator. Huh? This one, these are the parallel of what? Of equator. Or we call them latitude. Now, how do we know? How does latitude affect the climate of a place? Here is the north. Here is the south. We say that at the Tropic of Cancer, and the Tropic of Capricorn, what happened? We say that the Earth is tilted at angle of what? 66, 1 over 2. 66, 1 over 2. The effect of this tiltation of the Earth is that it makes some part of the Earth to come out. 
and what is the effect? The part of the head that bulges out because the head did not stand, you know, erect is bent at this angle. The places that get closer to the sun, they receive what more solar energy, and it affects the what the climate because the closer you are to the sun, the more solar energy you receive and the higher the temperature. So the higher the temperature, it also affects the climate of the environment. We are talking about latitude now. Now, number two, we talk about altitude. Altitude is height. We talk about height above the sea level. Have you ever heard, the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. Some people use it as um, maybe uh, a saying that the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. They are actually discussing geography. What they mean by that is what we call environmental lapse rate. Environmental lapse rate. What environmental lapse rate try to explain is that at every 1,000 meters, you climb up. The temperature drop by 6.5 degrees centigrade. That is what we mean by lapse rate. At every 1,000 meters, you climb up, the temperature what drop by 6.5. So if you have any surface of the earth that is above 1,000 meters up, you re it will really uh, uh, effectively affect the climate of the place. Then we have cloud cover. The cloud cover is self-explanatory. When we have enough cloud cover, it will affect the penetration of insulation or solar radiation on the Earth's surface. So it will reduce the same thing. We have um, um, vegetation. Vegetation cover also help in um, mitigating the amount of insulation that the Earth receives because it is the only solar energy that warm the Earth's surface. And once the earth surface is warmed up and is being radiated back into the atmosphere, it warms the air and it speeds up the, the, the temperature. And once the temperature is still is speed up, it will affect the climate, either positive or negative. So, but where we have vegetation cover, the vegetation can serve as a protector, protecting the sun from coming directly on the surface of the earth. So that is the the part that vegetation cover uh, uh, play when we talk about factors affecting climate then we talk about slope and continentality slope and continentality the higher the slope what do you understand by slope this is a mountain ah huh? by the time we begin to deal with a uh, map reading you know now this is a mountain and this is another mountain this mountain has a peak a peak top why this one has a flat a flat top so the slope from here to this place is higher than a slope of this one this one is a gentle slope while this one is a very fast uh, slope so what happened here the temperature of this place cannot be compared with the temperature of here we are talking about the slope so the steeper the slope the the more it affects the climate while the gentle the slope the more it also affects the climate so these are the factors affecting climate and weather of any geographical environment you know that we find ourselves so we have succeeded in discussing what is weather what is climate what are the elements of weather and climate what are the, the attributes of weather and the factors affecting climate and possibly whether these factors affecting climate they are the same factors that also affect weather we remember i've told us that when we are talking about weather and climate, they mean the same thing. It's only the duration that we consider them. 
when we talk about whether we are talking within a few days, it can even be, be within a day. But when we talk about climate, we are talking about uh, years, 30 to 35 years. So 